So they forced me to pay a fine of 400 manats, which translates to 220 euros. I had no other option than to pay it, because otherwise I am not allowed to cross the border into Iran. from the busy streets of Baku after having spent a few days here in Baku to arrange some things it is time to move on and escape the city through the traffic jams and busy streets upcoming days I will be moving towards the Iranian border the temperatures are high well above 30 and upcoming period is not going to be any any cooler unfortunately so challenging circumstances but very, very excited for Iran. The winds are pretty crazy today, but for once it is in my advantage because I'm enjoying some good tailwinds and on top of that, the wind cools me down from the heat a little. the strong tailwinds yesterday unfortunately today I have to settle for strong strong headwinds I've been pedaling for almost 100 kilometers already only in strong headwinds and my energy is drained but I really want to get to the seaside where I want to camp hopefully I can make it but I'm not sure in these conditions checked out the beach and unfortunately it's too windy and too rainy there the weather is taking a really bad turn so it's not gonna be comfortable or safe down there and unfortunately I don't see many other camping options around here so I think I'm forced to find myself some kind of guest house or cheap hotel and then continue my way tomorrow good morning and a quick word about yesterday it was a very tough and challenging day uh, i had to deal with headwinds all day a water shortage warm weather and eventually because of all the rain and wind coming in i couldn't camp at the beach as i wanted to so i was kind of forced to look for inside accommodation because there were no other camp spots available either uh, eventually i found this guest house where i stayed the night 
Um, I did 160 kilometers in the end. It's a new personal record, but it might not have been as enjoyable as I would have, would have wanted to be. In any case, I am at the border right now, pretty much five kilometers of more cycling, and then I'll cross the border into Iran. So that's very excited. It really feels like a new chapter for me, a new chapter of this trip. So let's get on that bike and cross into Iran. update from my side the border passage is a lot more difficult than expected um, I arrived at the Azerbaijani site and the first check was very smooth very friendly nice people I was literally the only one there so quickly I moved on to the second check where there was the x-ray and the passport control they first checked my bags three times already the people seemed a lot more serious and not very friendly and uh, after checking my bags for more than half an hour they, they wanted me to go to the passport control and that's where the real problem started because they said I had to register at immigration first before they could leave me out of the country. The thing is, I came by plane to Baku. Uh, I have my e-visa, I have my stamp in my passport. I have everything I need to be registered, theoretically. But still, they didn't want to listen to me. They didn't want to explain me why I have to go there. So I have no other choice than going to immigration. Otherwise, they don't let me out. Immigration is in another city, 50 kilometers from here. So I have to take a taxi now uh, to come and back. It's going to take, I don't know, probably two, three hours more. And uh, yeah. Eventually, it's gonna take a long, long time before I'm gonna cross the border. Much, much more difficult than expected, but hopefully, after this hurdle, I'll be there and I'll be in Iran. And after two hours, I'm finally back from the immigration center. Things got even worse. Uh, apparently, Azerbaijan requires you to register at the immigration center if you stay longer than 15 days. Although your visa is valid for 30 days, so a second registration is required. This was unclear to me and therefore I didn't do it. So they forced me to pay a fine of 400 manats which translates to 220 euros. I had no other option than to pay it because otherwise I am not allowed to cross the border into Iran. So I'm broke, I am frustrated, but just trying to keep my head up and hopefully I can smoothly transition into Iran now. Fingers crossed. Well, as you can see, I'm not at the border anymore. I finally made it into Iran. Oh, what a hell it has been, but I'm through. Eventually the documents I received were enough to get out of Azerbaijan. My bike has to go through an X-ray, but eventually everything was good. I was allowed to continue to Iran. And uh, crossing the border towards Iran was also quite smooth. It didn't take too long. And now I have to find a SIM card and a place to stay. Well, finally it's finished. I got my SIM card. It took me an entire morning. I got to go to two shops, but finally here, Mahan in the back and his mate, they, they helped me. And finally I have my SIM card. So ready to go, finally to explore Iran. Let's go. Bye bye. Welcome, buddy. I 
down by Yaver here. Jibo just wanted to say hi, he's an English teacher and uh, yeah, just a quick hello and then I'll move on again. So, friendly people here. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> And just as the sun is setting, I made it to the beach, my camp spot for tonight. Oh man, it feels so good to be out here, to be back on the road again. I've been stationary for way too long and after all the hassle and issues of yesterday and this morning, I finally, finally feel the freedom again of bicycle touring. And look at this, this is what you do it for. Uh, I'm happy, I'm satisfied, I'm going to take a quick dip into the sea, the last time I can do so because tomorrow I'm cycling to Rasht and then into the mountains and inlands of Iran, so enjoying the sea while I can and then calling it a day. Almost made it to my destination now, rushed, and all I can say is what an amazing beginning it has been. Iran. The people are so friendly, so kind, and so helpful, especially. And it's just a sign that the upcoming weeks for Iran are gonna be simply amazing. And after all the troubles at the border, I had to prepare myself for some upcoming desert climate. But that is a story for next time. So that's it for this week, and I'll see you in the next one. Hi there, thank you for watching this video up until the end. And did you like this video? Don't forget to like and subscribe down there, or click on my face right there. It really helps me a lot, so thank you. I would also like to remind you that I am making this trip in order to raise money to build a school in Africa. For more information or donations, click on the school right next to my face. And while you're at it, don't forget to follow me on social media as well. Links down in the description below. See you next week.